Hey, how you doing? It's Tuesday, and for my calculations, we have exactly one week until Christmas. <clears throat> so, hooray for that. Who doesn't like Christmas? I like Christmas. And you know what? I'm not ashamed to say Christmas either. Okay? Uh, but I can understand, you know, obviously people that don't necessarily celebrate Christmas. I can't, I don't, I can't see getting offended if somebody says Merry Christmas. I mean, that's lower. You know, somebody could wish me a happy Hanukkah. I'm not Jewish, but you know what? I'm not going to get offended by it. Or, or any of the other greetings you might use around this time of year. Uh, people are strange. It's a great door song. Uh, one of my favorite groups. Yeah, kind of rambling, all right. Right off the bat, rambling like crazy. That's all right. Got home a little while ago. Um, and before I came home, I picked up collector's case. Yeah, so this is going to be an unboxing video for the collector's case for December. Um, they said it would be here before Christmas. And here it is, one week before Christmas. So kudos to collector's case. And kudos to UPS for, you know, for busting their butt and, and shipping. Uh, bravo to both of them. From what I understand, this is going to be the last collector's case for a little while. I'm not exactly sure how long. I'm thinking at the bare minimum a month, but I'm thinking maybe a few months. Um, they're going to take some time off, you know, enjoy the holidays. You know, I mean, they all have lives too. Can't expect them to be at our beck and call all of the time. Um, they do a hell of a job with the collector's case every month, so I think they've earned to take a couple months off. Um, I will be, as I'm sure most other collector's case, if not every collector's case subscriber, um, will be anxiously awaiting the return of their next collector's case. Um, so, we'll watch out for that. We'll keep an eye on their Facebook feed and and Twitter and so forth and maybe we'll have a heads up of when they're actually coming back. In the meantime, keep an eye out because I may fill in with a couple of other things um, you know, to get my geek fix um, the months that they're gone. But for now, we do have a collector's case, so let's get into it. Um, I don't remember what what's supposed to be what in this. Yeah, go figure. Me, not remember. Huh. That's something new, isn't it? Yep, yeah, that's pretty par for the course right there. But, hey, I'll be just as surprised as you are. That's the whole point of, like, a mystery subscription box, is to be surprised. You don't want to know everything that's in it before you get it. Be pointless. Alright, so, I feel something soft. I don't know, let's pull this man. It feels there's a lot to it. Ah, looks like a fleece blanket. Hey, Ohio winters, you can never have enough fleece blankets, especially in this big ass house. And you know, it's just me, so I tend to keep the thermostat down a bit just because the gas bill is ginormous otherwise. So this is coming handy. Of course, you know, the downside is I have a dog that has mostly white fur and he sheds. Like I mean, the little bastard should be bald by now, honestly. As much as he sheds, cocker spaniel. That's all he does. He sheds. He's crazy. I've even like taken steps to try to you know use you know, feed him food and and give him some supplements that's supposed to help with shedding. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just a breed. Speaking of the devil, I think I hear his little pitter-patter of feet coming up here now. But anyway, let's see if I can get what I can in the... I don't know how much of it you can see, but Star Wars The Force Awakens. 
you know, a lot of people kind of look down on uh, that movie. You know, I mean, honestly, you know, I'm, me and being older, I'd have to say if I had to choose Star Wars movies that were my favorite, they'd be like the original trilogy. Or, if you're looking in chronological order, the middle three movies. You know, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. But that's just me, and I'm old, okay? So, those really stand out to me. Um, but I myself, you know, being the geek that I am, I'm not I'm not as much of a nitpicker as some people are. And, I mean, to each their own. But I still enjoyed the other Star Wars movies. Um, so, maybe just me. Alright. So, we had a fleece blanket. And let's see... I'm gonna find something like small to grab. Oh, here we go. All right, we got a card pack from Alien. So we'll open that in a minute. It says look for actor autographs and original art sketch cards. So we can get autographs like that. All right, here's something tiny. Oh, it's a scalar. Cool. I got one of these with Deadpool, I think. Down on my, it's hanging on my one speaker wire next to my, uh, uh, well, in my theater, you know, or the, you know, the wires that connect the speakers that come down on the one, the one on this side I have on the left. Um, I have a Deadpool little scaler thing. So this one, well, I can't really put it. He'd be facing the wrong way if I tried to put it on the other side. So I guess him and Deadpool will just be buddies there. But there we go. There's Groot. Groot. I am Groot. So, that's pretty cool. I love Groot. Who doesn't like Groot? And who knew that having just one line... Ever. I mean, he, he says the same line. I mean, he's got, technically he's got more than one line because he, he says it a lot. Okay, but the words are all the same in that one line. And who knew that that could be portrayed in so many different ways? All right, next we have a Doctor Who Titan figure. So, well, again, we'll wait and open it. I got one of those. Actually, I think I have two of them. Yeah, I have two of them. One is of one of the doctors, and the other one is of one of the uh, companions. Alright, let's see what else we got. I think I might have... This might be a Funko Pop here. So let's pull this out. Because there's another big... Like, kind of a big box in here. Yep, here's a Funko Pop. From the Specialty Series. Star Wars... Rose. Cool. I don't have it. I don't have her in that one. I don't have the specialty series one, but I do have. I don't think you can see it. I think it's kind of off camera. But yeah, back here, in between Princess Leia and Snap Wexley, I have the the base Rose figure in her tan outfit. But here she is in like the uh, the guard. Uniform. So that's cool. I'll have to, you know, rotate these around a little bit so I can put that one next to the other one. Makes sense, right? Alright, so let's set that out of the way for the moment. Alright, we got a big box in here. I don't know what it is, but it almost feels like it could be one of those vinyl idols. Yep, and it is. <laughs> this is cool. That is really cool. Here we go. Clark Griswold from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. A classic Christmas movie. I mean, who doesn't like Chevy Chase? He's an, an incredible comedic actor in, I mean, pretty much everything he's ever been in. 
Um, and, you know, I have to say, I mean, other than, you know, the, the, obviously the big draw for Funko is their, their pop figures, which, I mean, the breadth of those you've heard me talk about before is just ginormous. I mean, anything you can possibly think of, they have pop figures for it. Um, but I'd have to say, next to that, the next ones that I think I like the most are probably the Vinyl Idols um, figures. Because, I mean, they're just, they're just amazing. I mean, if I could get, like, Funko Pops and just as many Vinyl Idol figures, that would be amazing. But, obviously, I don't think, I don't think there are as many of the Vinyl Idol figures as Funko makes of the Pop figures. So. But, this, 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 I'll have to look into that sometime and see, like, what, how many of them they've actually done, you know, Vinyl Idols. This says number 36 on it. Funny, a little print down here says it's not a toy. Yeah, try telling that to a little kid. Looks like a toy. Yeah, these are these are done by vinyl sugar. I never actually looked at the bottom of the, the name of them. I mean, the company that did them. I'm gonna have to move my little Raven figure there, my the Funko Pop, so I can put this next to the other vinyl idols. This makes the fourth one I've gotten. I've gotten, uh, obviously, if you've watched my videos for a while, you, you know, you might not remember, but you've seen the albums I got, but I got um, the Soup Nazi from Seinfeld, and then Classic Batman from the Classic Batman TV series, and then, of course, The Man, Stan Lee, God rest his soul, the brilliant genius that he is, and always will be. And now we have Clark Griswold. The Vinyl Idols figures from Vinyl Sugar. wonder if they make like anything other than these. Let's look into that too. Huh? Alright. <clears throat> Moving on. Let's see if we got anything else in here. I think this is yeah. Here's a little little dossier thing. No, it's only one. It's, it doesn't open like like the other ones. Probably because you know this, this is the last. One. Oh oh! What a way to end the year from collector's case. We got an autograph. Photo. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Let me get to my. Uh, I can kind of see the. Right, where's the. Yeah, the autograph is right here, kind of in gold ink, so it's a little hard to see on camera. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. And of course, the. There's a lot of glare. Downside of overhead lights like this is they, they glare a lot. Now, there, if I pull it back a little bit, you can see the picture a little bit better. But as uh, Michael Bain. Ben, or I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce his name, but, and I believe that is from, I want to say Tombstone, but it says, uh, collector's case survives this 8x10 photograph was autographed by Michael Bain on May 25th, 2018, so just this year. At the MCM London Comic Con. So, that is cool. Uh, I'll have to go get a frame for it. 
and find I think I, I've got just a little a few more spaces in my theater room um, to put autographed 8 by 10s after that I may have to actually move some of the other stuff I may have to move maybe some of the prints that I have hanging in the theater room and move them maybe in here a little more out of room in here too although I got this you can see a slanted wall up here I've got a couple of small prints of um, like Catwoman put poison ivy um, I'll just show you. these are all ones I've gotten in other cases Catwoman. Here's the Women of X-Men. I got Poison Ivy one. I think I got, I got one other one. But I can't remember what it is. Oh, I think it's a, a Jean Grey kind of a kind of a, a funky, kind of almost like I want to say a Warhol-esque um, like if you were to blend it with maybe like a little Picasso. Yeah, you know, I mean it's it's got that pop culture kind of look and everything to it, but it's a little weird. But it's of Jean Grey. Uh, but I'm trying to figure out, because I got them framed, I'm trying to figure out some way that I can, I'm thinking what I have to use, maybe just like, kind of like little L brackets or something. And fasten those onto the slanted wall, and then I can slide the frame in between them. Um, put those up. But that will be eventually right now let's open up the doctor who titan figure see which one we got as you know I, I, i'm not real big on doctor who i mean i've watched it here and there but not enough to like religiously know who the characters are and you know, which doctor's which and stuff like that you know forgive me from what I watched, I mean, it's, it's a enjoyable show. I just, you know, just never got around to watching it a whole lot. Um, so, I most likely won't know who this person is, but it's okay. All right, we've got, yeah, we've got this lady. I do like how, as small as these figures are, they still have articulation where you can actually move the arms. That's that's pretty neat. Yeah, so I don't know. She almost looks like a wrestler or something, don't she? A wrestler. And then she came with this little, uh, little banana. So, if anybody knows who this is, you know, woman with a banana. Uh, comment in the comments and then next time I'm on maybe I'll see it. Alright. Set that aside for a second. Last thing we got is the one pack of alien trading cards. I mean it would be killer to get an autograph card. It'd be almost as good to get a sketch card. But even if I don't I did get the big 8x10 autograph, and the other items in the box were, were pretty cool, so. Can't be so picky and choosy. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, we got that one. And uh, this one, and this looks like this is from the original Alien. Oh, here's some. These cards look. These cards look different. You get kind of a chrome look to them. Another one. This one's blue around the edges. Or whether they would consider those parallels. Yeah, yeah. Well numbered. It's numbered. 
All right, so yeah, so this green, like refractor one here, um, isn't numbered, but it does have more of the. Can't really see on the camera, but it's it's got like a shine to it. And then this one, the one that actually has the blue, whether you'll be able to see it or not. Maybe kind of right there in between those two little circles at the top. It's numbered. Uh, looks like number 21 of... Uh, I can't read the other one. 90. Looks like 93 maybe. 21 of... Or is that 71? Okay, no. I think that's 71. Oh man, I'm getting older. My, my eyesight probably ain't as great as it used to be. Um, but at the same time, it's hard to it's hard to read you know, small numbers that are shiny when you got so much glare from the lights above. And then the last one, that one here. So I'll probably put those two gold ones in detectors. Or, I mean, not gold ones, but the the chromium ones in, in protectors, and then put these other ones just down. Eventually, maybe get rid of them. All right. Now, if you're just joining us and you've never been here before, welcome. If you have no clue what the collector's case is, pay attention. Collector's Case is a geek-filled subscription mystery-style box where they do give subtle hints of what kind of possible theme maybe each month. Um, but not necessarily. Um, normally, and again, not all the time, but normally, in particular, if you look at who the the possible autograph photo is from and they usually have a few different ones I use but one of the photos that that person signed and the character they play in it will have something to do with kind of like the overall other contents of the box you know whether it be sci-fi or horror or you know a certain franchise or what have you um, but overall you still really don't know um, it works out to be I believe I pay $33 a month um, and I want to say I've been getting it for about a year now maybe a little bit longer and I have yet to be disappointed really in any of the items in the boxes uh, so if you're looking for a good subscription box I mean there, there are a lot of subscription boxes out there some are better than others I myself would put the collector's case, um, and I mean, I've, I've been a subscriber to a few different ones, but in particular, I would put collector's case at, the, at you know, right close to the top of the list. It'd probably be neck and neck with um, a couple other ones that, you know, I've seen. Either some that I've actually just watched videos and seen what people got, and also, you know, one that I've actually gotten before. But, if you like that kind of stuff, go on to collectorscase.com, um, check it out. Like I said, they're going to be gone for a few months, but they are coming back. We've, we've been promised that they are coming back, and you know, during that time, I actually won't be, any subscribers won't be charged their normal monthly fee for the box. Um, so I might actually take that money and since I'm kind of expecting it to be be gone anyhow I might as well use it to get something else for those couple of months right so anyway an East Collector's case normally comes with this normally it's like a, a dossier it looks like a little folder that's actually open and it's got you know inside and outside but this is you know just simple one sheet 
which is fine. But it says, the December case is packed with holiday cheer. Merry Christmas! Happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, whatever. Whatever the politi politically correct term is. Political correctness has made this country a bunch of pussies. Just my opinion. Uh, so this time we wanted to let our collectors discover all the great collectibles within this month's case. Okay, just one spoiler. You'll find a very fitting and very festive Funko Vinyl Idols of the... Okay, so they are Funko. I thought they were Funko, but you know, the box doesn't actually say Funko on it. It just says... What the hell? Vinyl Sugar is what I said. So that must be... Maybe that's like a... That must be like maybe a sub... Sub brand of Funko. I was going to say, because I think, I, I was almost positive I actually entered those in my uh, my little database thing for Funko. I don't know, I'll have to double check. Maybe I did. Anyway. Uh, idols of the one and only Clark Griswold included in every case. For those looking for signed autographs, Michael Bain is our featured celebrity of the month. January and beyond, Collector's Case will be taking a short holiday from new case offerings. Now, pause for a moment and say that that doesn't mean that you can't get a Collector's Case if you want one. Because they do offer quite a number of the old cases available on their website, collectorscase.com. There should be, I think there's a shop link. Hey, get your head out of the box. What are you doing, weirdo? Dog. Um, and like even this box if you like what's in this box chances are they're going to have some available on there now I mean they have a limited supply and I don't think it actually like tells how many they have available but if you want one go on there find the link go in and check it out they have a number of them from past boxes available in fact I might even do that that's what I could do over the next few months is actually going to the website and maybe find one. I mean, like I said, I've been getting it for a while, so there's a chance that I won't be able to get a box that I don't already have, that I haven't already gotten. I don't know whether they go back that far, but I'll check it out. If they do, maybe next month I'll go in and order one of the earlier ones um, before I sign up for it. <laughs> That's good, huh? And if they don't, then I'll find something else to do. Hey, what are you doing? Quit looking at the floor, weirdo. All right, where was I? Okay, to all of our dear collectors, we must remind you that the December 2018 case will be the last case before we take a short holiday, but don't worry. There are still plenty of store cases available from previously released cases. I just said that. Hang in there. It won't be long before we return to keep bringing you great collectibles straight to your front door. We still have a few big surprises are up our sleeve. Sincerely, the collector's case. So, there you go. Um, that's collector's case for December. Overall, again, I'm impressed. Got the vinyl idol, Clark Griswold. Had the specialty pop of Rose from Star Wars. He had the I Am Groot um, scalers. We had the pack of alien cards didn't get a big hit as far as an autograph or sketch card but I did get the two chromiums one which is a parallel it's numbered um, we got the little Doctor Who wrestler woman with a banana figure and of course the Michael Bain autograph so overall another stellar box from the collector's case I eagerly wait for their return um, everybody, I'm not sure if I will be posting another video before Christmas or not. So, actually, I probably, actually, now that I think about it, I probably will be. Chances are good. Not precise and not, you know, not absolute, but chances are good that I might because I actually did splurge. 
which I'm known for doing, even though I probably shouldn't. But, you know, I work hard. I should spend a little bit of money on myself, right? Besides paying bills and shit like that. Um, so I actually went on in the, another pretty good collector's case, the one I was alluding to earlier that I've actually gotten boxes from before. I never had a subscription with them, but I've gone on and bought um, separate boxes from them um, when I had a little extra money here and there. Um, but the BAM box. Um, they actually had a special like holiday deal where you could get a box of a collection of items that they've had in previous previous boxes. Um, I think it's like there was like supposed to be like twelve items or something in this box. Um, for a, a certain price, I, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I want to say like forty bucks or something like that. So I, mean, I was like, oh, I can't pass that. Can't pass it up. I mean, I, I got to. It's mandatory that I get that. So I did, and supposedly it's, well, actually I think when they said that they're guaranteed by Christmas, I think they were referring to their actual subscription boxes, because um, they had the BAM box and then they had the BAM horror box, but hopefully that also means that mine will be, um, be here before Christmas. If it is, obviously I'll be doing a video for that, if it's not, well, then I guess you'll see me after the holidays. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. Uh, you know, whatever other holiday cheer salutations there are for this time of year. Take a pick, whatever floats your boat, whatever puts a jingle in your berry, you know. All right. Dumbass dog to look in the floor again. All right. Well, that's it. Everybody, hey, uh, hey, take it easy, all right? I will see you later.